how to motivate and pray for someone else. We at Betsyever have a whole team of princesses that has a heart of helping and encouraging other princesses currently working through a crisis or a storm. I call them my WhatsApp angels because they daily bring light, hope and encouragement to other princesses. I was recently very saddened by one of the WhatsApp angels almost giving up hope because she was feeling that none of the messages she was sending to the broken heart princesses was making any differences. She, had no, she said, no one is opening up to me. I feel like I am not making any impact. Jesus said in his parable of the sower that only one out of the four seeds, with other words, one out of the four messages that we send out, take root. So it is almost a numbers game. Even if the seeds do take root, it is God who manages it and who makes it grow. And this growing process can take years. I send our daily dearest princess messages. It took me about a year before people start replying on it. And even with the first replies, it was only the pro praying hands emoji. It took another year before people started replying with 3D manifest manifested testimonies. It is my belief that we will only realize the true impact we ha had on this world on the other side of the heavenly curtain. I've once heard the story that when we enter the city of golden streets, we will have this moment when God will reveal to us how our actions made people feel. Isn't that just so amazing? I think that we will be reward, rewarded for each action, for each, each message we sent, irrespectively of how the recipient responds. I see our time invested in people as an act of worship, irrespectively if they open or soften their hearts for us or not. God is a stock taker and He records every action we do to motivate or encourage someone else. I once had a bully in my life. I invested about a 50 hour prayer campaign in this lady. After about four months, I only started seeing the difference. With my princess messages that I sent out, a week ago the message was, let God touch your eyes so that you can see the beauty again. Maybe there is beauty in a little bird visiting you. Maybe there is beauty in a beautiful sunset. Later that same day, the same day, on one of our friendship WhatsApp chats, my one friend shared this beautiful sunset. This is my wish to you too, my prayer, my blessing. May God reward you daily for your efforts. Rob Bow also shared the story about doing public speaking where he said that you perform and the people are invited to be a spectator but you should never value yourself based on their response. This is also my wish and my prayer for you. May God grant you the freedom to see your ministry the same way. We do not evaluate our service based on the response that the recipient or the audience gives us. One of my favorite blessings is the moment when I, when I can start collecting stories or motivations for broken hearted princesses. May you also be such an avid collector of inspiring stories. Without any effort to, may God make it easy. Also another one of my favorite blessings. I once received a beautiful song with a dancer. I immediately knew that I could use this video as encouragement for the dancing queen, one of the princesses that I was working for. May you too have moments like this, such light bulb moments, where you are a collector of motivational, inspirational videos and stories. I enjoy this song 
and this is how I see God daily. He gives us the invitation to motivate someone, da someone daily. Daily we have the opportunities to be the hero in somebody else's day, to add glitter and sparkle to their life. God asks daily, are you coming along?